This is the Cape Coast Castle in Ghana, perched on the edge of the Atlantic Ocean, nestled atop the rocky cliffs. The origin of the slave trade to America and the Caribbean. I toured the ancient fortress and relived the history. I retraced the footsteps of the ancestors. But what's impossible to retrace or to relive here is the level of anguish and pain and suffering that took place all those years ago inside the walls of these dungeons where many came to die from extreme heat and little to no air to breathe. And the last door, the third door here. Mm. So let me, let me close the door and let me turn off the light. I will turn it off. She's going to close the door and turn off the light so you can get a real time view of what it was like in these cells. And there you have it. You see it is total pitch darkness, just encased in stone walls, no light, no window, no door. This is what they were subjected to. I can tell you from first-hand experience, I am dripping sweat just standing in here. It is very, very, very hot. Yes. Okay. Just turn the light back on. Yeah, this is. My shirt is drenched right now, my head, just about everything. But it gives you a real life depiction of what it was like in here, minus these lights as you just saw. It's oppressing. These tours are necessary because they help us to remember and provide a first-hand lesson about the inhumanity of man. You see chains left behind that once bound countless who yearn to be free. And of course, there's the infamous door. A door of no return. Imagine, once you went through these doors, the light on the other side, was the end of your freedom. So here I am. You know, Throughout my calculations, I figured I've journeyed to Africa multiple times over the years, and I've probably been in 10 countries on this continent. Till now, if you'd asked me what was your most spiritual moment, Art, I would have said uh, when I put my feet in the Nile River uh, in Uganda. Uh, there have been a lot of spiritual moments here in Africa, but I have to tell you that being here at this Cape Coast with this castle, over my shoulder. Uh, this is something much more spiritual. People said, all right, you know, you might get there and don't be surprised if you get emotional, if you get overwhelmed. And I was thinking, I doubt it, but they were right. It happens. It's just the presence of being here. Even these waves behind me seem unsettled, a bit restless. I think we know why. So, I'm glad that I'm here. This has been quite a trip, um, quite an awakening. It's something that you have to experience. If you've been thinking about doing it, and you're thinking that's on my bucket list, maybe one day I urge you to come. You've got to come here. You've got to put your feet in the sand. you got to feel what I'm feeling. This moment is real, and I'm glad I'm here.
Just one last thing. There is an inscription on the walls here that I'd like to read. It says, In everlasting memory of the anguish of our ancestors, may those who died rest in peace. May those who return find their roots. May humanity never again perpetrate such injustice against humanity. We, the living, vow to uphold this.